Hi everyone, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. In today's video, we're going to do another fall decorating video in our fall decorating series. We're gonna be working in the master bedroom today. And then I also have a pumpkin cream cheese streusel muffin recipe to share. It has quickly become one of our family's favorite recipes, so I couldn't help but to share it with you. So I hope you enjoy this cozy decorate and bake with me video. I'm just starting out by putting my bedding back on my bed. I had just washed it and I also washed a new quilt that I got from the Hearth and Hand collection. So I'll be putting that on the bed after I put the sheets on. Okay, so I thought now would be a good time to talk to you. So I have been saying to my husband for like the past month or more, we need new pillows. We need new pillows. I can tell our pillows are getting worn down. It had been a while since we've gotten new ones, so we definitely were in the need for new pillows. So it worked out perfectly when I decided to partner up with Sutera and they sent me this Dream Deep pillow. So this pillow is a memory foam and it's an orthopedic contouring pillow that literally just morphs to the shape of your neck. It's also a temperature regulating memory foam. So, you know, you never, you, you stay cool all night. I can't stand to get hot when I'm sleeping. We can definitely all benefit from a good night's sleep. I mean, when you don't sleep well, it raises your blood, your blood pressure. It, you know, reduces your ability to be able to concentrate during the day. There's a lot of benefits to like a really good night's sleep. So this has definitely helped me a lot. I am personally a side sleeper, mostly a side sleeper, and on my back, this literally, so it has the cutout right here, and I'll show you an example of me, how it works, but you know, your head is resting right in this cut cutout, your neck is, and it's like literally just morphing to the shape of your neck, and it has a cutout for your arm, so totally comfortable, and then the other position I generally sleep in is on my back, and this just provides the neck support that you need, so comfortable. I have even tried it on my stomach. I'm not a huge stomach sleeper. I used to be, but then my back started hurting a lot. So, but this is so comfortable. You kind of flip it around and you can use it on your stomach. So the pillow came nicely packaged in this box. It was folded and it was in a piece of plastic and you just unfold it and the pillow takes shape. So on this side of the box, it lists some of the benefits that you get from using the Sutera pillow energy boost, cooling memory foam, stress reduction, how it reduces neck, back, and joint pressure. It has a temperature regulating memory foam. And then on the underside, it gives a nice comparison of the benefits of a Sutera pillow versus a traditional pillow. I want to, I'm going to link everything down in the description box. If you guys are looking for a good pillow that's going to provide you the support and relief, and if you have neck pain or neck strain, definitely go check this pillow out. Click, click that link below. That will give you 20% off your Dream Deep pillow by Sutera. So thank you, Sutera, for sponsoring today's video. And now we are going to get on with the rest of the master bedroom decorating for fall.
Okay, so here is an overview of the bedroom. I just did it really simply, but I really like the way that it turned out. I feel like it does have touches of fall, just not overwhelming. So over here to the left, I just wanted to show you. So my husband wanted a wooden custom made flag for his birthday and I was looking online and my daughter's boyfriend made a gorgeous one for his room and so he offered to make this and it is stunning. So it's black and white and I think it's like 24 by 36 maybe. It has like the wood along the outside where he like burned it and it's like I said, it's black and white and it looks beautiful in this bedroom. He did such a phenomenal job. So under there, I just have my blanket ladder with this black and white throw blanket. I just propped a little pillow up there and then some of the gray farmhouse beads. So then coming over here to this dresser, I just have this beautiful picture came from Joann's. They have really beautiful decor this year. I love it. It's kind of like a canvassy material and it's just the gray leaf and I love that charcoal gray. And then these hops um, stems are beautiful from Target. So I grabbed, a, I have a few, maybe like two or three, I think three branches of those in there. And then just this natural pumpkin from Hobby Lobby. I just have it on this little um, kind of placemat type of thing from uh, Pier 1. And then over here, I leave our side tables very simple because, you know, we just like to have chargers and everything else on there. So I just have that little Macintosh and pumpkin diffuser over there. And then just this magazine has the best recipes in it. I will definitely over on my other channel be sharing some of those with you. So on the bed, this is my new bedding from the Hearth and Hand collection. So it's just a nice, perfect weight quilt for the fall because the real heavy quilts we take off, but then we need something else. So this we can leave right on and it's just the perfect weight. So that Hello Pumpkin pillow is uh, from Amazon and it's just a pillow cover so I just took a pillow that I already had and stuffed it in there and then down here I have this tray that's from the hearth and hand collection and then just a few little decor pieces the pumpkin is from um, Joann's I think it was and then those florals are from where are those from I think those are from Target and then this is just another one of those cozy me candles that I've talked about in previous videos and then just a candle ring around that. And then I have it on this gorgeous throw blanket that is from the Hearth and Hand collection. Over there on my husband's side table, I just have that um, plant. Like I said, we keep it super simple. He's already got a few chargers back there, so we don't really like a lot on our side tables. He doesn't even like a lamp there. And then up here on the wall, I added my thankful and blessed sign that is from Hobby Lobby. So then over here on this little sitting area, this is the ottoman that I used to have in my family room. And we brought it up here when my husband made the coffee table only because we're kind of doing some stuff down in the basement. We'll probably go down in the basement, but for now, we're actually enjoying the extra seating in here. I feel like my husband sits here every morning and puts on his socks and whatever. So um, I just threw that Hello Pumpkin pillow on there that was last year I think from Sam's Club and then down here on my bench that pillow is from the hearth and hand collection and then I just have that basket under there and then this rug is gorgeous it's just a wool woven rug from Target so I love the texture that it adds to this room so I think that looks really great at the end of the bed and that is basically all the decor the fall decor that I added in here. It was just kind of what I had left over and I didn't want to go out and buy anything new for in here. So a couple of the stems are new, but I didn't buy them specifically for in here. I bought them for another area of the home and I just didn't end up using them. So, and then that throw blanket is new, but for the most part, all this other stuff I've pretty much had. And then there's Kova's bed over next to me because she sleeps next to me every single night. 
Okay, so now we're going to get on with the baking part of this video. So again, we are making pumpkin cream cheese streusel muffins. So I will have the whole recipe linked down in the description box. If I don't link it, I will type out every all the ingredients that you need. But I'm just starting out by making the cream cheese mixture, the filling, and that's just a block of cream cheese, some sugar, and some vanilla. So after I get all that mixed, then I'm gonna move on and start making the streusel topping, and then I will make the actual muffins. So I have to say, this is literally our favorite muffin recipe that we've had in a long time. My husband doesn't even like pumpkin. I mean, he only likes chocolate, anything. And he ate about four of these the first day. They are so delicious and they stay so moist for a few days. So, and this made a lot. It was only supposed to make 12 muffins. And you'll see that I actually bake another five muffins. They did not have the cream cheese filling because I did run out of that, but I was able to get five more full-size pumpkin muffins with a streusel topping. So this made a lot.
So here I grabbed my daughter just out of the shower, asked her to come down and try them just out of the oven, and she loved them. They were so delicious. So I want to thank you all so much for hanging out with me today, and I hope you enjoyed how I decorated my master bedroom. And let me know if you try these delicious muffins they honestly they are if you like pumpkin they are so good as a matter of fact they kind of remind me of apple cider donuts but anyways again and don't forget to click on that link down below and check out the dream deep pillow by sutera and thank you again sutera for sponsoring today's video if you are new i hope you will consider subscribing and follow me on instagram at decorate with dana i hope you all have a great day and i will see you in my next video